Well done. Don't be afraid of moving upper body. You need to move your upper body. For example, if I can borrow the clock, as soon as you move, that ball position's moved relative to me. The notion of trying to stay static to keep your ball position and keep everything still is a joke because what we're actually doing is we're timing a moving ball. Golf's a moving ball game. Yeah. So if, you, if you're stood there and I move this way, that's the same relationship between me and you. If I stay there and you move that way, so that's the same as if you go back, me doing this. Yeah. The relationship's the same. Okay, so whether I'm moving or the ball's moving is irrelevant. I'm moving, which means the ball's moving. As soon as you move, in relation to you, the ball has moved. So you're timing a moving ball. You're also timing a moving low point. The more we move efficiently and effectively, we are just attuning ourselves more and more and more to control over the low point of the ball by moving. Because the more we move, the more reference we create. If I'm stuck here, I don't really know what it feels like to move back and forth and time this. I've got no idea because I'm. I mean, it's so far outside the, my normal realms of movement. So we've got, I'm not saying we want tons of sway, but we have to move because your arms are influenced by your shoulders. So if I just do this, can't really do much. If I do this, now I rotate. Now I start to swing my shoulders and arms look freely up. Watch this, my arms can swing up. If I don't, if I don't have much sway, and just rotate my arms. I've got to lift my arms, that's tension. So if I want to take all the tension out and use the swing weight more effectively, not take all the tension out, but not have to, not have to use my arms excessively, I've got to let myself sway. That's the issue. Way behind that, wasn't it? That's what you're fighting. There you go, same again. So we've got to find a way of completely mitigating that. We're gonna do two exercises. Okay, the first one is we've gotta to start to bring in some lateral rotation in vertical. We're shifting, dropping, and rotating internally to then push off the floor, which gives us extension, external rotation. So you drop in that way, come back. So it stabilizes you. Okay. So you're getting stabilizing forces through mobility. I'm going to do it with you because it's, it's, this is a tricky one. Now, keep your feet pointing at the basket at 10.30 and drop to your right side. Not with your feet. Keep your feet over there. We've got to get your hips down. That's it. Stay where you are. No, 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 no twisting yet. Stay with me. Keep your feet pointing over there. Just bend down more from your hips. So we're working this hip. Tip, 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 tip. Bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees. Good. So we're loading this hip. Stick this hip out more if you can towards me. There you go. So we're loading the hip. And all we do now is we stand up. But don't lock, don't rock back. So on this side, look. That stays planted into the floor as you step up. That's it. Stay on this right side. As we, we're going to practice this right side. Twist in as you go down. Twist the knee in as you go down. And then stand up. So we're training this right leg and right hip. But I'm really sitting to this hip. You squeeze this here by, there you go. So you, if there was a sponge ball, you'd be squashing it. Yeah. Then spring up. That's it. Just have a little swing for me now. Just in the air, on, this, on the green stage here is fine. Just back and forth, just, that's it. So, can you just take that? There's no intention to try and copy any feeling you've had from the exercises. Literally just swing into a finish. Nice, good sound. I'm still going to get the consciousness of my arms out there. Well, at the minute. Hi guys, we're going back to Turkey, to the glorious Serenity Resort. It's a five-star golf resort, and we're there in April from the 21st to the 24th. It's four days of coaching and playing with myself and Fars and one of the GRF staff, and five nights at the fantastic Serenity five-star resort. If, like me, you're fancying a bit of guaranteed sun, be sure to join us, but be quick, because there's one space left, and we hope to see you join the group. When you start moving the low point back, you have to go quick to make sure before the low point's gone. Yeah. So you're, on a, you're in a race with the low point, because you're, you're moving, as you do this, you're moving the low point back, and that's moving rapid. As you do that for power, you're moving your low point back. You've got to do this to get the ball before the low point's gone, and you, you're back here. So you have to release early, so we've got to remove the, the need. This is where we're going to go next, because it's a very, very different feeling removing that. That's beautiful, well done. That's wild, that's bad, isn't it? 
Oh, it's a bit of straw, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Go onto your left leg, now move your right foot back. So you're loaded on your left. All I want you to do, foot forward, if that's okay. I just want you to bend your knee forward, and now let your knee move inside your toe. That's it. And just twist your hips to do it. That's it. Now let your hip move out towards the camera, let it slide out towards the camera, this way. So you twist it outwards. That's it. Drop into three while you're going back. And then, yeah, then you can, there you go. Body opens up, club just, three wheels. So no thought of what I'm doing, just. No, just, you can feel it, it's a feeling. Feel where you, it took you in three. Use a little rocking action back and forth and use that to throw the club back. And then you can start to move into more of a three. That was better. That was better, well done. So camp now, kept the, uh, well played. Let me just step in with this. Get my so now the challenge is, can we actually recognize this in a sequence with the board? One, two, three, four. What we don't want is striking it on three. One, two, three. It's one, two, three, and you can, you've got time to spring, release the club, yeah. feel the ball, feel the strike on the ball after, after the four really. Two, three. Your golf swing's already started before the club moves, the club's just reacting to your movement. So one on the left foot, yeah? One on the left, so you go forward on one, back on two, then the club goes out. So that was good, but your club can go later on the way after the two. So use your one and two to throw it back, one, two, then it goes. Not bad. And again, use your upper body. Let your upper body sway with it as well. That was it. That was better. That was really good. You let your upper body sway. Because we need upper body sway. This helps us with momentum and time. It swings the arms. That's better. See, I've never I've almost been avoided that. Because this needs to move. Look, this is moving the low point. Otherwise, you've got this sort of oh. thing, haven't you? Otherwise, that's happening. Look, and now, I'm, look, this stays still, but look, I've got that sway, yeah. whereas I want this, we want this to move, and then, then the lower body can react, so and now we can start to maintain. That's it, well done. Start to use your upper body mass, fantastic. And let's use a bit of the wrecking ball. So, pull it like that, underneath your stomach, so your arms are straight underneath your shoulders, and just rock from side to side here. Arms, arms locked out. Now, that's more of a pendulum, that's like a grandfather clock. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a wrecking ball. Now this does not move round your body side around it, it just goes side to side. Yeah. Underneath, more vertical, closer to you. Just side now, watch this. We're gonna lead with the body. Early. That's it. Arms locked out like, really locked out like iron rods, the arms. That's nice. There you go. Go on, really sway forward. There you go. So fantastic here. That's the minimum you'd want to do it. You can really go. There you go, that's it. Now I'm, now we've got some interaction with the board left. Look how much you have to sway and use your hips. And use your upper body, let yourself sway across. The golf club is like the balance pad, it's like the wrecking ball. Just in the air. Go on, see how early you can get across the board with your body. You've got to sway your body more across. There you go. Feel how late that club is. Yeah. Got to get your body weight across earlier. There you go. So your body's still swinging back and turning back. Your upper body's turning back as you drop into the three. Earlier, look. Get across, get the board across earlier. There you go, that's your three. I mean, that's proper power. There you go, and your low point's forward. Your ball's moving back and back and back and back and back without having to cheat and move it back. Because you're moving forward. Just pop on here and have a couple of swings. No ball first, just see if you can feel it without the ball. Nice, what do you feel? Just time. Yeah. Here, it's just sure. Time for you to move where you want. Well played, that's beautiful. So you can move on to it. Now you can throw it back for longer. There you go. So you can really throw it back and the clubber creates its own length of swing arc for you, you don't have to worry about that, just throw it back. And then what you've got to do, 
you throw this back, so now you've got the weight reacting to you, now you can shift earlier. So you can really get forward, throw it back first, and then, there you go, that's better. Then you can start to get forward, so you don't have to go for the hit. You can leave, in fact, the longer you leave it behind with the rotation, the better. Have a couple of drivers for me. So leaving the club behind. Very good. Is it a different feel? Definitely. That's awesome. The leap of faith here, the one, two, throw it back. You've got almost with, it's carefree, you've got to throw it back and let, then, when you throw that club back, your body now, that's, now you're, now you're really influencing it because you're in front of it. You've got to let your body do the work. That's better. Well played. Yeah, so, so throwing it and then, that's going this way now. Now your body can start to move like the wrecking ball. It can proceed the swinging of the club now in the opposite direction, loading into the floor. You can use your spring and let go. Brilliant. All right. Perfect. Thank um, you very really much. Really enjoyed it. Really Me enjoyed too. It. That was awesome. Well done. It was a massive improvement. And I mean, it's still a work in progress. It is. I know what to work on. Exactly. I mean, that was massive in terms of your ball striking and then it's a case of just practicing now like we said earlier coming up it's not positions you're recognizing movement patterns and then you become more and more comfortable with these patterns and more confident because it's the same way that your swing is like it is after decades it's your, your body's just it's a habit so what you're doing is you're creating new habits so